Hi everyone, this is Vita, and today I'm going to talk about how to begin a painting. So where does a painting begin? How does it begin? Here I've got a canvas, and I've done a little wash, and measured it out, and you know, kind of did a little sketch of an apple that I saw that I found very beautiful. And you know, you'd think that I'm ready to go in and start painting. But did my painting begin here? No. The painting begins in a completely different area, in a completely different realm with unlimited possibilities. There are seven steps to creating a painting, to manifesting a painting. The first one, which I'm gonna call number seven, is the state of awareness. In order to be inspired and to be able to create anything, you have to be in a state of calm, awareness, connectedness uh, with everything around you. And let's say, for example, you're walking on the beach and you have a clear mind and you're very connected and you're just experiencing all the beauty around you. And suddenly you see a wave crashing on a rock and all the colors coming through and the seagulls flying. And it's just this whole image that just, before you even have any mental thoughts about it, that is coming into you. Number six is the actual becoming uh, aware of that information that you just received. And uh, you begin to visualize it. You have this inspiration uh, saying, you know, oh, that could be a beautiful painting. And then you begin to picture it and you begin to maybe see it on the wall and uh, you begin to visualize all these things about that previous image that you saw. Number five, you begin to communicate that idea. And we're moving down now and getting more narrow. You're communicating the idea. You pick up a pen, you do a little no-tan sketch. Maybe you do a value sketch. Uh, you begin to put it together um, in, in a different way. Or you write it out in your journal or you uh, speak it out to uh, to somebody, you know, to your partner, to your family, and say, I have this great idea for a painting. I think I want to paint this. I was at the beach, blah, 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 blah. Number four, you are in love with it. You begin to feel the excitement that, oh, what's going to happen? And just that, you know how it feels to be in love, right? And that it just kind of happens with painting as well. Number three, you begin to put yourself in it. You get your uh, decision-making power going and uh, you begin to physically create the painting. And how do you do that? You pick out the size of the canvas that you want. Maybe you want a smaller piece. Maybe you want to do a large one. You figure out, you know, the colors that you're going to use. Are you going to use a limited palette? Are you going to do a monochrome painting? What is it that you're going to do? And then you set it up, put the paints out, uh, you know, put it on your palette, you get your brushes ready, you make yourself a tea, and then number two, you begin a personal relationship with this creation. So your creative muse is coming in and playing around, and actually, and artists know this, when you're painting, uh, the painting may often talk back to you. Not literally, obviously, but in the sense when you're painting and you're in the zone, you know, you begin to make a brush stroke and you know that it's wrong. You've got this, this information coming back at you saying, no, not there, you do it this way. Uh, wrong color, it's the value's too high, lower the value. Um, and you know, you have this personal relationship with your creative muse, which is coming through you. And then after you've painted it out and it looks great, you sign it. And then you step back and you look at your creation. And you have manifested a painting. Now, why is this important to know? Why is it important to be aware of this? In my perspective, when I was just beginning painting and I would get an apple and I would put it up and I just wanted to make my painting look like that apple that I was looking at. And uh, 
it was just putting it together, trying to get the right colors, trying to figure out how to do shadows right, trying to work it through. And I, it was just a painting. It looked, I mean, some of them looked pretty good. When I got better, they just looked good. And then I realized that a big difference between um, going through this process and opening up your, your channel, your inner self, and allowing your creative muse to come through you and play through you and uh, you have this relationship with the thing that you're creating, whether it be a painting or bread or you know, whatever it is that you're creating. And that creative muse brings forth art. Your painting steps away from just being a replica of something that you're trying to see, something that people usually will just walk by and you know not say, "Oh, that that looks like a nice apple," but it's, it, it doesn't pull them. It doesn't you don't they don't connect with it because it's just a replica of what you were trying to do. But if you are in tune with this process, even as a beginner painter, you can begin to develop it, and then when you when you when you see your painting, there's a certain energy that's that's there that's indescribable, that is 100% yours, and that's what makes it all worth it. So that's what I've got to say today. I hope you liked this video, and please click the like button if you did like it, and subscribe so that you know when my next videos are coming out. I should have another one out next week. Uh, have a great weekend. Take care. Ciao.